Hey everybody, I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today I'm going to talk about the fastest way to union with your twin flame. And normally the fastest way is in a straight line. So what that means in this situation is you are confronting every problem and every upset along your journey, and you're going through it. You are facing it head on and you're healing and you are you know busting through these upsets and you're busting through these blocks and it takes that um, confront to be able to uh, to get there and get through these things and it's it's not about you know uh, hiding behind uh, hiding behind good feelings and and trying to you know skirt your way past uh, uh, these these upsets and blocks and, and basically, uh, what what's being told told to you is that you know, in order to uh, manifest your desires, in order to manifest what it is you want, uh, your twin flame, uh, you know, the money, the the houses, the riches, uh, anything anything that you have set your goals to, is to feel good, is to feel good about it, and you know, let the universe deliver it to you. And that's 100% correct. However, if you are fooling yourself into feeling good, like you, you're, uh, you're, you're feeling really good because you're, you're in some way ignoring all of these upsets and blocks that you have, and you're, you're, you're just like totally neglecting what it is that you're supposed to be working on. And what it, what it is that this journey really means, and it's you know finding yourself and finding your true self and learning how to love yourself. And just because you are are you know oh I I feel oh I feel amazing oh I don't have my twin flame I don't have anything the world is burning up you know burning down all around me like uh, nothing in my life is. Is, is really going how I want it to go. You know, I, I want all these things and nothing's happening. And I want like, you know, I want my perfect love and I, and I want like uh, a great career and, and uh, family and stability and money. But, you know, none of that's happening. But I feel amazing. I, I'm just going to feel amazing until, uh, you know, until it just shows up. And I'm, I'm not really doing anything about it. I'm not... I'm not facing anything. I'm not confronting anything. I'm not. Fe I'm not healing anything. So how is it that you feel amazing if you don't have any of these things? If you're not working, if you're you're not working towards them, you know there there's a lot of inner work that goes on in in order to manifest your desires. And so that is. You know, you're you're numbing yourself out to what it is that you're really feeling, and you're pushing it down, and you're you're like really burying your feelings instead of facing them head on. Uh, it's you're just you're totally uh, ignoring what it is that is presenting itself to you for a reason. You know, th these things are presenting themselves to you one by one and in steps so that it's easy to heal. Not all, you know, all of these upsets and blocks aren't just being dumped on your lap for you to sort through and figure out uh, one, you know, all at the same time. If you notice, this journey gives you a step by step process. So you heal something and then the next thing comes to heal. And it doesn't it not it doesn't necessarily manifest exactly the same way each time. You know, everything's very very uh, different and varied, and that's that's part of the process that's designed perfectly for you. This, this is the twin flame journey that's designed perfectly for you and your twin. And no two journeys are the same. So when you know when when you're like. Oh well, I know, I know people that are on their twin flame journey, and and they did this, this, and this. Well, you no, know, that's that may not be 
that may not exactly be the path that you're set on. So why are you following somebody else's journey? You have your own journey to attend to and, and really figure out. You have your own puzzle to put together. If they're doing theirs, let that happen. That's not yours. You have yours and you're not confronting it. You're not, you're not facing what it is that's being given to you. You know, this, this is something that you really want to be in touch with your feelings about. And, it's, and let's, be, let's be completely honest. If you have uh, a perfect counterpart that was created exactly for you, that, that uh, checks every single box uh, that is perfect and right for you, and you don't have that, is your that's living hell you're living hell and so you want to get to heaven which is with your perfect counterpart and that and heaven isn't a place or a destination but it's consciousness and so you can live heaven on earth by having that in your consciousness you that is your vibration you live that you live in heaven so it's not it's not some place that you go when you die, and there's not you know uh, golden gates and clouds and whatever else you know uh, you know unicorns and whatever else that shit rainbows. It's not like that. This is this can be heaven. This this is heaven. You just have to realize that. So what the what. What is really happening on this process and what is, is trying to be conveyed to you is that feel. Allow yourself to feel all of this shit that is happening inside of you and then heal it. Okay? This, this isn't something that, you know, there's, there's so much, uh, pro, you know, shitty programming inside of you that and patterns that are that are that are uh, being run within you. That are like, okay, here's here's something that is very uncomfortable for me to look at. And normally, I would just, you know, stuff it way down, or you know, totally push it aside or ignore it, and just be happy. But like, what are you being happy about? You're just you're you're faking it, and. And the point of this is to truly be happy, is to truly feel that happiness, not because you're faking it. You know, this is the when to in order to attain your twin flame, you have to truly be happy. You have to truly love yourself at your very core. And you can't get that if you're faking it. And you can't get that. If you are pushing away all of the things that are coming up to be healed in order to have that. No, this, this, is, this is your journey. It cannot be done for you. You have to do the work. If you don't want to do the work then don't complain that your twin flame isn't coming or that they're doing this, this, or this. You know, don't, don't watch uh, a YouTube videos that say that the lion's gate is opening. Like, what is a lion's gate? And, and like the Pleiadian galaxy is sending down ray beams. And like, what is that stuff? Like, is... Is that, is that really what you want to believe? That all of these like bullshit things are happening just so that you don't have to do anything? Just so that you could just, you know, sit back with like, you know, and totally numb to everything that you're doing and, and just think that true love is just going to be handed to you? You know, get get real with yourself. Get honest with yourself. Like, really dig into this. Really, 
if this is if this is something that you are uh, aware aware of, and this is in your conscious awareness level that you have a twin flame, and that you are uh, on this journey to true love, then really start to embrace it. You know, don't don't take it for granted that anybody's just going to hand you the greatest gift that that there ever is or ever was without you lifting a finger. No, that's that's laziness. Start doing the work and you will get your reward. There's no doubt. There is a guarantee by God that you will get your reward in this lifetime if you heal separation. And as you heal all the blocks and upsets to separation with your twin. So go for it. You're you're what you're putting in more energy not going not doing this. You're putting in more energy to not heal yourself. You're wasting more energy just completely thinking that you're doing something when you're really not. Use your energy to your advantage. Use it to heal yourself. As you heal yourself, you gain more and more energy. You gain more and more awareness. I mean, you you really love encompasses you, and you know that is an amazing, amazing thing. So do the work. Uh, visit asoneguidance.com. I would I would love to help you through this journey. Uh, you know, leave a comment down below if you'd like me to. Uh, talk about something in an upcoming video, any topic, uh, or just leave a comment, just say hi. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.